Today we're here at the Hopkinton Senior Center and we have the good fortune of meeting with Helen Cady to learn a little about her life and to hear some of the spirited stories of what it's like to live in the same town of Hopkinton for 93 years. Welcome, Helen. Thank you for being with us today for Meet Your Neighbor. We're here at the Senior Center. You just finished your lunch. I understand you have lunch here every day uh, with the seniors at the center. Uh, and uh, you have been here in Hopkinton for 93 years, if I understand correctly. Yeah, right. In talking with you on the phone, one of the th things that you said about yourself is that you said, I'm fresh. Can you tell me about that to start us off? What do you mean? Well, I just, <laughs> I love everybody, and I'm just fresh from Hopkins. <laughs> you love everybody? Oh, God, I haven't met anyone yet that I haven't liked. Uh -huh, Honest uh, to God, I always, always did. Oh, uh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And it sounds uh, like a little bit of your spirit also when you say that you're fresh. Uh, yeah, I'm fresh. <laughs> I know another thing that you said is, uh, I've had a hell of a life for 93 good years. Life. Good life. Good, it's a good life. It's a good life, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more uh, about that? What, what do you mean? What is a good life? You. Well, you keep busy for one thing, and you get all kinds of good friends. Oh, yeah. Some of them didn't take, but yeah. most of them did. Mm -hmm. And of course, a lot of them are over here at St. John's now, the ones I grew up with. At the cemetery? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You've seen some of your friends pass. Oh, oh God, a lot of them. Yeah. My brothers. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. My son's over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He oh, was 27, I think, Bill. Mm -hmm. He climbed every mountain in New Hampshire. He was a phys ed guy. Ah, I got uh -huh. pictures of him in the mountains and everything. Wow. Yeah, but he's over there. Mm -hmm. Wow. I don't wow, know. that's something. You've known a lot of good people in your life. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And that seems to be a bit of the key for you, friendships yeah. and relationships. And my daughter teaches high school up in New Hampshire. Oh, oh. And she calls me every night, wow. gives me a little advice. Oh, she gives you advice? Sometimes she thinks I'm one of her pupils. <laughs> <laughs> but I agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> what, oh, what kind of advice does she give oh, you? Oh, all kinds. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Be nice and all that to Being people. Being nice, uh huh. She's yeah. great too. Uh, that well, that's a good thing to be able to say. Oh yeah, yeah. Your children. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've been here for all of your life. Uh, what has it been like to live in a town like Hopkinton? Well, I remember when they were all dirt roads. Uh, there yeah. was no uh, macadam. And Ed Katz drugstore downtown was a uh, two uh, was a gas station with two little pumps out front. Ah. And eighty five was dirt. Uh huh. Dirt roads yeah. everywhere. And across the street where Kalala's is was the old car barn with the the cars, mm -hmm. the trolley cars. Mm -hmm. One went to Westboro. One went to uh, Birmingham, and one went to Hayden Row from the Common. Mm. Imagine that, the trolley cars. The stayed. trolley cars. Mm. What is one of your favorite spots in Hopkinton? Oh my God. Well, I really don't know everything yeah. about Hopkinton. Everything. To me it was yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. The surrounding towns, I had a lot of relatives in Ashland and yeah. Framingham. My grandmother lived when they were building uh, Route 9, I remember that, mm -hmm. laying in bed in her house. She was the last one on Concord Street mm -hmm. yeah. and hear them. And then the, I always loved music anyway, and the high school girls, when they were building the bridge down there over, 490, uh, over Route 9, they'd uh, be singing, and I'd be in my grandmother's bed, singing right along with Oh, them. <laughs> you mean the road crew was yeah. singing? the and girls at night would go up there and sing, oh, the uh -huh. high school kids, you wow. know. Wow, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, and you would sing along in your bed, I'd that's sing a memory. I'd across the street from them. Oh, uh -huh. okay, uh -huh. We used to climb the mountain, the big hill with the, uh, the, uh, blah, 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 what the heck is it? The big furniture place is up there. Mm. 
in, place. I'd, yeah, you know, the, on Route 9 in, uh -huh. in Natick. Oh. There's a big furniture. Okay, on the hill. We, yeah, on the yeah. hill. We uh -huh. used to climb that hill. Ah, wow. Yeah. Okay. I'd sing right along with the girls in my grandmother's bed. <laughs> <laughs> Had a lot of fun. So those are good memories. And yeah, there was an airport right across the street from my grandmother. Uh huh. Wow. There was a lot of airports mm -hmm. in those days. Different kinds of transportation. <laughs> well, yeah. And I, I know you it, said now you have so many cars go by your oh house. Oh God, yes, unbelievable. Yeah. Different kinds of roads, no longer dirt roads, That's but very right. well-traveled yeah. roads these yeah, days. Yeah, and they're all going to 495, most of them. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, so you've seen a lot of uh, oh. time go by. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you remember any historical moments uh, in your life, uh, anything uh, that happened in Hopkinton, or if, uh, did any... Um well, the schools changed, for uh -huh. one thing. We used to go to an old school out in back of the center school now. Oh, yeah. It was about a foot, two feet apart. Uh -huh. And uh, do you remember Paul Kenny? He used to run the gas station up there. Oh, and uh -huh. he, he was a hot tomato. Yeah. And he was building on the new school, laying the bricks. Mm -hmm. And we were in the first grade about a foot to two feet away. It was very narrow. Uh -huh. And he'd take his trowel and he'd bang on the wall of the old building. Well, one day, try to get us kids laughing. Uh -huh. And one day, when he did it, all the plaster come down oh over boy. the first grade teacher. Oh of course, goodness. he turned right around and uh. decided <laughs> playing the bricks again. Uh -huh. There's all kinds of stories, you oh. know. How many were in your class? Uh, probably about 18 or 19. 18 in your class, yeah. When we graduated, there was 200. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, not really that many, but in the high school. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. Well, what was your childhood like? Uh, what did you uh, like to do when you had some free time as a kid for play? Well, my mother died New Year's Eve 1932 having another one. I was 12 and my brother was 13 and wow. another one 14 uh -huh. and there was four sisters. Oh boy. But oh. my father worked for the town of, not for the town of Framingham, but for the railroad down there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was a brakeman. Mm. But, uh, so yeah. you were without your mother from oh, yeah. age 12 on. Yeah. Um, so that probably She was you, wonderful too. She was a wonderful oh, mother God. while you knew her. Yeah. yeah. Raised well, hell with us. She raised hell with you. <laughs> <laughs> what was... Uh, she was wonderful. One of the best things uh, about her as a mother that you remember. She was so damn good to us. Yeah. She uh -huh. was good. Wow. We could do nothing wrong, but when we did, God help you. Okay. Uh -huh. And yeah. your father would be home and sometimes yeah. he would travel off? He worked nights on the on the railroad. There was yeah. brakeman down Firmingham. Okay. And when the train would go by and down over in towards Carterville Way, towards Westboro, we'd say, oh, there goes Dad's train. Uh -huh. Everything was Dad's train, you uh -huh. know. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, it's funny when you're a kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you laughed when you were a kid? Oh, 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 oh sure. Yeah, yeah. What the hell, we weren't going to cry. No, no. Did you have chores? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's why to this day when I'm in there, I get my dishes all together, you know, yeah. at the table. Because mm -hmm. you had a lot of work back. We had to do kids. that. 18 mm -hmm. shirts, the boys wore shirts in those days. Yeah. And I used to iron 18 shirts. Wow. The old washing machine mm -hmm. with the crank on it. Mm -hmm. My sister would help once in a while. Mm -hmm. So there were six of you all yeah. together? Yes. Uh -huh. Six yeah. kids. Uh -huh. So did you tend to play together when you had some free time? Oh yeah, yeah. you had to, you could. Uh -huh. get fond. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, what was one of the things you liked doing best when you were a kid? Well, when we were kids, we used to go down through the woods and pick nuts uh -huh. off the nut trees. There was a lot of them in those days. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then what would you do with them? We'd take them home and crack them open, and uh -huh. my mother would make fudge and put the nuts in the fudge, mm -hmm. and oh, God. Mm -hmm. Then she used to uh, 
put make fudge and put it in the bread tins and then she'd slice it and us kids would wrap it and then us kids would go all over town selling it. Oh. Uh -huh. She used to, yeah. She used to make good good money. So you made some good money, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Ten cents a bar. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good price. <laughs> yeah. In those days. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow, so you had a little bit of a role as oh, yeah. sales, in sales, as well as oh, uh, taking care of things at home. Yeah, all over town we'd go with uh -huh. the fudge. Wow. You want to buy some fudge? <laughs> oh, sure, <laughs> Helen. Uh -huh. They look forward to it. Well, uh, how did, I heard uh, interesting, um, some interesting stories of people how uh, you, you would take care of your health back in time, back in those days. Did you see a doctor much when you were oh, a kid? Um, yeah. Uh huh. We yeah. always went to Doctor Place. Doctor Place in town. Yeah. yeah, he lived on Church Street, and he had a, a parrot that would sit in the front window in his cage when uh -huh. we'd be going to mass. Uh huh. And you should have heard that parrot. Why? I swear it like really? crazy. Yeah. Uh -huh. They finally say, <laughs> take that parrot out away from the window. Oh, uh -huh. oh he'd swear at uh -huh. us. Well, that makes the doctor right next, memorable. <laughs> yeah, right next to the thing. Uh -huh. and when I had my shot, when we had to have a shot when yeah. we get married, uh -huh. before we get married, and Dr. Place says to me, is that your first shot, Helen? I says, yep. He says, well, it's not going to be your last one if you're anything like your mother. Oh. Because she had six. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. He was, he was wonderful, uh -huh. too. His way like crazy. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. But so, anyway. So what would you say that you, what's one thing you learned from your family life in growing up yourself uh, that maybe you carried to love on? love to love the to children. To love the, your brothers and sisters. Uh, your brothers and oh, sisters. Oh, God, yes. Uh -huh. That that is important. Again, yeah. that sense sure. of connection. Yeah. That's uh -huh. true. You had been through, you We'd know. We'd help each other. Uh -huh. After my dad would work yeah. for each other and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it was great. And you must have been through hard times, uh, the depression, the, depression, the war, yeah. um, different wars you've seen. Oh, I've seen. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, Buzz was overseas for three Your years. Your husband? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He was yeah. overseas where? Three years, over in the Pacific. Uh-huh, yeah. On Guam and all those islands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well... And I used to write to him every night. Oh, uh-huh. I worked down Telecron. That's right, after high school. Oh, um, yeah. You worked met at the Threadmill. Uh-huh. Thirteen and a half cents an hour. You made thirteen and a half cents. My goodness, worked well. like crazy. Uh huh. So you were in um, high school, uh, and you met Buzz, your husband, there. Oh yeah. While you were in high school, uh, from what I remember, you said you were both playing basketball. Yeah, we were on basketball, basketball teams then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so after high school, you both decided to get married. Oh, well, I was 23, I think 23, it was. Yeah. But mm -hmm. It's wild. And you got you got into work, uh, and you were at the thread mill. Thread mill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Making 13 and a half cents. And 13 and a half cents. And then a Buzz month. was working. Uh, Buzz, well, he was a carpenter car after a while. Uh -huh. In fact, he built our house. Uh -huh. He built a lot of them in town. That, that's quite something to build your oh. own house. Mm -hmm. And we moved it from Fort. 495 up the hill oh. towards past the lake. They had to move your house, yeah. We didn't have to, oh, okay. but we wanted to because he built it. Uh huh. Yeah, well, that, it sounds like a special house. Home cold from when Socket moved it. We slept in it the night before, right alongside the edge of the road with our two kids. Uh huh. And the next morning they backed up and lugged us up the hill. Wow. It oh, was quite that. a parade. Uh -huh. yeah. I bet, a house the parade. The fire department and the f police department, they were all in on it. Wow, that's uh, something it, not everybody the fun, has. The funny part of it is, when it got to the bottom of the hill before they started up, I started shaking. And my teeth were going like that. Yeah. I said, take me over the corner, Buzz. So he took me over to the bar room. And I said to the guy, you gonna put this in? This is all right. I'll have a double shot. And he took a look at me and he says, what's the matter, Helen? And I told him, he says, no, I'm not giving you a no, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> the uh -huh. bartender said to me, mm -hmm. that owned the joint. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, so. 
So you didn't get anything I there. I didn't get anything And there. you got through it. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you went on to raise your own family, your yeah. two children. Well, I had them already. Okay, yeah. yeah. And so you, uh, they were little children when yeah. you moved? They were uh -huh. too small. And then you were over at West Main Street? Yeah, and then they went to school and uh -huh. high school and all that jazz. Uh huh. Yeah. And then we moved up, they moved up to New Hampshire. Uh huh. And she teach, she's still right. teaching up there in high school, my daughter. Uh huh. 26, 27. Now she's 60 something. Oh, <laughs> how time goes by, oh doesn't it? Oh my God, yes. yes. And so you uh, you had work, I know, uh, at the thread mill, and then yeah. you had work at other places as well after the children Telecron, went off? Telecron, uh -huh. for years, mm -hmm. and made parts for the plane that bombed the hell out of Japan. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, proud of that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Unbelievable. Uh, and I had lots of friends down there. You made a lot of friends oh, there. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And how late did you work in your life until? All uh, my life. All your, uh, how long were you at Telegram? Oh, about five or six years. Mm -hmm. My sisters and I, my, we all applied for a job at once. They wanted inspection. They got inspection. I just wanted the machine shop. Mm -hmm. And that's where I worked. Uh -huh. About all during the rest of the war. Mm -hmm. But anyway, wow. it was well, great. You have certainly been uh, busy in family oh, and golly, work, yeah. and I know that you have had a number of hobbies and interests throughout your life as well. Uh, for instance, uh, I golfed. You were uh, golfing. That's right. Yeah. You had a great golf story about uh, how you intimidated two men uh, when it was uh, your golf ball was <laughs> down in the hole. Uh huh. Yeah. What happened? Can you tell that again? Uh, well, it was on the ninth over in Upton. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's not there now. And I uh, was in a big, big ditch. And two men came out of the clubhouse, and they saw me in the ditch, and they said, "Well, this ought to be good." So I got in the hole and hit the ball and it went up over and into the ninth tee. Not into the tee, uh -huh. but about that far from the pin. Wow. And the two men, I could hear them. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, only they were worse. Oh. Let's get the <laughs> hell out of here. You know? <laughs> After that. You frightened them off the course. <laughs> I had a pretty good shot. Well, do you have any good uh, golf? tips, a uh, secret maybe to your success when you're on the golf course. There might be a lot of golf. Just pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, concentrate. That like oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I know also you said you played the piano. Um, oh, yeah, I did that since I was a little kid. You played by ear? Yeah. Just by listening to melodies and playing? I used to put my, it was cold in our living room, yeah. there was no heat. Uh -huh. I'd put on a hat and my jacket, and uh -huh. I'd go in and practice, uh -huh. you know, and play the piano. And Do you still play? Well, I haven't lately, but a little I, bit, yeah. A little bit, yeah. And then sing? Yeah, I sang ch ch songs at St. John's Church, uh, a lot of the solos. The solos, wow. Yeah. Well, well, that wasn't bad. That's something, if you're singing the solos, that's right. Yeah. And then uh, fishing, I heard you, uh, fishing, you have your days uh, hunted, of fishing. Fishing hunting and hunting? And, hunted and fished up in New Hampshire. In New Hampshire. Uh, Over to Whitehall, we used to go out yeah. on the island and dig a hole with the th thing. and. Uh, on a Sunday, it didn't uh -huh. make any difference, and uh, we'd uh, catch on pout. Uh, we'd uh -huh. go over to Kruger's and read a Kruger that owned the beer joint. Uh -huh. She'd clean them all. Oh, really? And she'd cook them all. Uh -huh. And she'd serve them to all the people. Uh -huh. How we does a horn pout a taste? Oh, horn pout's good. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> I've oh. never had that. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the way we caught them. How do you catch them? Well, on an island. Yeah. Well, we didn't fish over the side. Uh -huh. On a Sunday, we would dig a hole yeah. through the island yeah. and drop our line down, and that's uh -huh. when the horn pout would get down and we'd have a ball. How about it. that? Yeah. yeah. We had wow. a lot of fun. Uh-huh. 
you uh, certainly have uh, been busy with lots of different interests oh, and, yeah. and yeah. work in your life. And I understand you've been keeping your own yard for oh, many. Now I still do it. You still do that. It's as big as this place, but I, I don't. I, this is the first year I haven't mowed it. Wow. Uh huh. And uh, Dick Varnum, he helped move the house up there. Mm -hmm. And he, he says, Buzz, you after we got it up the, on the hill, he says, you've got to have a garden. So he goes home and he gets his big, big thing. And he comes up and he digs a hole in the back. Not a hole, but a big place. Yeah. And he says, Buzz, and it, that whole ledge is rock. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the, the um, Dick piled them all up and Buzz out of that cracked them all. And we got a beautiful wall that's three feet high, wow. three feet wide, and a hundred feet long. Wow. And it's out behind the house, and Buzz built that that's and cracked every rock. That's a lot of work. And it's beautiful. I'm sure it is, yes. And then when we did move our house from down earlier, moved it up there, he built, I says, Dad, you build everybody in town a, a, a deck. We don't have a deck uh -huh. up here. Next thing I know, I got a great big deck uh, with the roof over it. It's uh, beautiful. How nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, that's what happens when you open oh, your mouth sometimes and, and ask for yeah, something. Yeah, but he was the most wonderful guy, too. He was a wonderful husband. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good to hear. So, and it sounds like a good life, even in the yeah. hard times that you've had. Oh, yeah, uh, during the depression. But what the hell are you going to do? How how'd you get through in the depression, you know? Good, good. Uh -huh. We went up to the town hall as we were kids and got a loaf of bread from them up there yeah. or uh -huh. whatever we needed. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. We didn't starve. No, no. You found <laughs> ways of getting by. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. They had it open to the public uh -huh. during the depression. Mm -hmm. So community looked after each other here. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. yeah. I'd say that. Beautiful. So how about that? Yeah. Had a wonderful life. Nobody can take that away. No. No. And I know um, you also say when you talk about yourself is that you still have your teeth, your same teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I never had a toothache in my life. That's that's amazing. Yes. This one fell because it cracked. Uh -huh. That's the only one that's gone. So you had a very good health record, from yeah. what I understand. When we were, were kids, we used to go to Dr. Clancy. He was up the top of the hill near the Congo Church. Uh -huh. And for him, he'd, to keep your mouth open, he'd use his thumb uh -huh. when we were kids. Uh -huh. He'd stick it in the hole of our mouth open. Wow, that's brave, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how many times he, <laughs> we, we clanked down on it. <laughs> well, I know uh, you also, you're in great shape, and you said that you've been exercising. Oh, I do all the time. Uh, your advice to others is to keep active? Yeah. I watch them from the door out here. They're like this. Uh huh. What the hell good is that going to do? Them? Yeah, you need to do a little more. You think? Oh yeah. And uh, you do? Uh, you are on exercise machines. Well, oh, my son paid seven hundred dollars yeah. for one. I walk on that one, and my laundry's going. Oh, uh huh. And then upstairs, I brought the bicycle up, mm -hmm. and it's in the side of my living room. Mm -hmm. And I get on and I pedal. <laughs> wow, that's great. Uh -huh. yeah, unbelievable. Um, and I know you also talk, and this might be related to health and well-being. You said to me uh, earlier on the telephone about the importance of laughing. Oh, you got to laugh. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, well, anything that did you think it's funny you, you just laugh at mm -hmm. it you don't yeah. damn it or anything else uh -huh. oh good so yeah. you have a positive attitude and you yeah. find what's funny out of things and then i did puzzles for years uh -huh. jigsaw puzzles i don't do them now because my hands don't work mm -hmm. but uh, i give them to uh betty weisskopf do you know betty weisskopf betty weikoff uh -huh. yeah. she comes down and i have a whole shelf full of them and they're the big pieces and she takes them puts I say, make sure you put your name on mm -hmm. so I won't give them to you again or you won't take them again you right. know because I had loads of them mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and she takes them to her father in fact she was there 
day before yesterday. Oh, Sandy. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, that yeah. brought them back and takes some more. Puzzles require a lot of uh, oh, yeah. concentration and brain yeah. power. Yeah, so it's damn good for you too. Uh -huh. Yeah, I would agree. I used to start out with little pieces. Now then, I haven't done any lately, but I got them for Betty, oh. and uh, she uh, does them. Yeah, her, her father does. He's a hundred and one or two. That's I guess. right. That's right. Yeah, Betty. So, uh, Helen, what would you say is has been or is your legacy in this world or your contribution? What ha have you brought? It sounds like you've had quite a life. And, and that's what you say in your own words. What would you say that you have brought to this world? Uh, well, I hope I've made somebody happy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I certainly think so. <laughs> it sounds no, that way. It sounds yeah. like you have many friends. And oh, God, I've many, loads of friends. Uh, in high school, I played basketball for so many years. Uh -huh. And then four years in high school. Seventh and eighth and four years in high school. About 16 years of uh, basketball. Uh-huh, yeah. Then the town took over the end of, uh, on, on Ash Street there, and we played basketball there. So that was another uh, oh, yeah. group that you were a part of. It sounds oh, like God. here yes. we are at the Senior Center now with this interview today. You've been rubbing elbows with the seniors, having dinner. Uh, that It seems like uh, connection with others has been really important uh, uh, part of your yeah. whole life. And my house today is as neat and clean as can be. But yesterday I got a little teed off. Something rolled off my counter, and the counter's here, and oh, it was a pencil or something, and I got down between that and the refrigerator yeah. with the flashlight. Oh, wow. And I went like that, and I says, holy God, look at the dirt under there. Uh, well. So I moved, the, I moved the refrigerator oh. a little bit and got rid of that dirt. My goodness, but It's well. nice and clean. I you are amazing. Oh, uh, well. And uh, I am sure you have so many other stories. We have to wrap up for today, but I just want to thank you so much for your oh, yeah. time and your stories, and I wish you continued good health and good days and much laughter. Yeah. Thank you, Helen. Thank Hi, I'm Cheryl Peralt, host of the program Meet Your Neighbor on HCAM TV. This show introduces you to Hopkinton residents, the many interesting people who are our neighbors, and we invite them to share stories, experiences, insights, and observations from their lives. We'd like to hear who you think should be interviewed on our program. So if you know someone that Hopkinton